Hi guys, I have the Mark IV Maximus armour in front of me and out of all the Space Marine units I've painted so far I've enjoyed these the most I don't know whether it's the quality of the, the, the resin and the sculpt and just the way it, the look and uh, the fact that I was able to pose them in more dynamic positions than I've uh, been afforded in the past uh, but everything about them I've just loved uh, you know, using trying to get a different effect from the bayonet blade uh, as opposed to the gun making it much more shiny uh, of, of things turned out really well I use the same grayscale painting technique that I use on my librarian dreadnought as well uh, to what I think is good effect I've also been very fortunate as well to be given some forge world decals from my good buddy uh, Mac it's blood angel ones now he, oh, he's obviously not using blood angels anymore and uh, He's kindly given them to me and they've got some absolutely amazing decals. My favourite ones are the ones where it's just literally the edge lines uh, you can see on there uh, on the decal sheet. And uh, eventually if I get another rhino, which I intend to probably do in the future, that is what you call a decal. It's absolutely huge. I'll give you a sense of scale. There's a marine. <laughs> there you go. So some beautiful decals on there. So thanks a lot for that, Don. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Let's not be looking at a plain cheese board <laughs> or whatever it is. Um, and going on to the uh, base, I've I've done this on the last couple of minis that I've painted. I've uh, been painting yellow armor plating. Uh, it contrasts really nice with the red. You don't want it to color clash. So the cool thing about that is as well is Imperial Fists actually were fighting uh, in the pre-heresy campaign with a Blood Angel. So it sort of like worked out nicely and the imperial fist decal logo the white circle with a black fist is one of my favorite it looks absolutely amazing especially when you start to pick away and chip at it it really does pop uh so yeah beautiful mini Let, let's put the next one on there i'll try not to linger too long this is the next guy this is probably the most plain uh, of, of the bunch uh, very very basic base and nothing on the phobos weapon there but again the sculpt speaks for itself it, it just really is it's uh, lovely so that's that guy and we'll go to the next one oh and this guy's got the uh, chain fist on and I love it I went with like a um, what do you call it a hazard stripe and I think it's turned out really well. Just helps it to uh, stand out a little bit more from if I can painted it uh, uh, in a gunmetal colour. I like the rest of the gun. It would have just blended in a bit too much. But I wanted uh, it to uh, pop out a little bit more from the gun. So uh, that's what I did there. And you'll notice that the armour panels or the armour plating that they're um, marching over is weathered way, way more than the marines themselves. I wanted to... Uh, create a stark contrast between the miniature and the base and uh, by making that look uh, weathered and chipped and beat up it it separates itself from what is essentially a really clean looking miniature and uh, I also paint the lenses gloss varnish that's a, a huge tip I'll give especially to uh, beginner painters to actually get really cool effects and really nice finishes to your miniatures for very little effort Adding texture using satin varnishes and gloss and matte varnishes to different surfaces can really help uh, make your miniature stand out on the battlefield. Uh, for example, your the, the armor platings matte matte varnish because um, it's weathered, it's rusty, it, it's it's going to look old. It's not going to be uh, have a high sheen. The power armor's uh, uh, it's got all got a satin varnish on it, so it adds a tiny tiny sheen to it, uh, which I think looks nice. And then the lenses, or, or any time I see like a gem, it will be gloss varnish to make things pop a little bit more. So that's that guy. Now I've got the uh, banner bearer. Um, I don't know whether I should have zoomed out there. The camera really doesn't like it, but I had fun <laughs> painting the banner there. I think I, 
two or three uh, times I went over it because I wasn't happy. Uh, I took this to a game that I had at Red Steel, so a uh, big shout out to uh, Adam Schiffnell there. You were uh, my butt, mate. Uh, I had a great day, actually, a really uh, a good time, but uh, I wasn't happy with it then, so I come home and I started painting it again. I think it was 11 o'clock on the night. I've got problems, I really have. Um, but I, to be fair, it's, I wanted to lay down those awesome decals that uh, Don give me, but yeah. Uh, I think it's turned out really nice. Uh, the banner just really, really goes with these miniatures, and uh, even the uh, dodgy uh, green stuff work that I did on the uh, banners not turned out too bad. Uh, it looks okay actually, and it covered up, it's covered up his uh, special hand quite nicely. Uh, so we're going to go for the Sarge last. Do you know what? I've got to fully apologise. I'm using my right hand to put these miniatures down. I've just realised. So for all those that have seen my uh, stitches, I'm full apologies. I, I've just I only just realised I'm such a plonker. So apologies for that. Um, yeah, where was I? Rambling away. Uh, yeah, uh, the Sarge, j just, just beautiful. Um, sometimes things just plan out nicely. Like I say, with the Sicarius uh, uh, head plume thing, there worked out nicely. And uh, I think the Power Fist looks really cool on him. So let me know. I'm gonna put the. We're gonna put the uh, unit all next to each other. Let's get my right thumb out of the way. What am I doing? And. I want you to all let me let me know what you think. I'll, I'll, going off the uh, huge uh, positive feedback I was getting over these Forge World things, and I also have to say as well, just quickly, huge thank you to all those people that uh, commented uh, in the comments field on which armor set they liked. Pretty much the consensus is you all prefer the early Mark II. Um, it wasn't too far off though. Uh, there was a lot of people voting on the Maximus, but the Corvus armor. Poor old beakies. No one likes the beaks. Um, I've got to say, it's probably my least favourite armour set uh, as well, to be honest. The uh, beaky helmet guys. They, they don't look bad, but you know when you put them next to the uh, Maximus or the Mark II, that I, I don't like them as much. So thanks for that. So yeah, I want you to let me know. Forge World, given the fact that they are obviously considerably, for, for most countries, more expensive than than your standard GW ones. Do you think, given the time and effort, uh, that they're worth it? Having actually used them and cleaned them and been able to manipulate the resin w in ways that I can't do with plastic and spent the time and effort uh, on them, I think they're uh, worth every bit of the money. Uh, there's, a, there's a saying in life, you get out of life what you put in, and uh, I personally believe that they're beautiful. So. Huge thank you to War Tiger. Um, I can't thank you enough, buddy. I've I've enjoyed uh, painting these immensely, and uh, I can't wait to get cracking on the Mark II. So yeah, com uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one, guys.